Hello, fifth grade. Um, tonight we are doing le lesson 116. The objectives for lesson 116 um, are to compare fractions with different denominators. Um, in the past, we've always gotten two fractions with common denominators, and then we were able to compare them that way. Now they will not have the same denominator. We will also add and subtract fractions with different denominators. Okay, so if you have your book, you can turn it to page 761. The new concept, it says, the fractions one-fourth and three-fourths have common denominators. The fractions one-half, the fractions one-half and one-fourth have different denominators. Of course, this is a four, this is a two. One-half and one-fourth. To compare, add, or subtract fractions that have different denominators, we first change the name of one or more of the fractions so they have common denominators. The least common multiple of the denominators is the least common denominator of the fractions. Okay, So in a previous lesson, we learned how to find the LCM, or the least common multiple of two numbers. We're going to do that with denominators so that we can figure out uh, how, we can, how we can make these fractions have common denominators. Okay, So we have the numbers 2 and the number 4. We have to find the least common multiples of those two numbers. Um, the next multiple, 2 times 2 is 4. We've already found it. Okay, the least common multiple of 2 and 4 is 4. Now we need to uh, convert this fraction 1 half to a denominator of, or to a fraction with a denominator of 4. We do that by, of course, multiplying by a fraction equal to 1. Okay, 2 halves is equal to 1. 2 times 2 is 4. 1 times 2 is 2. Now that I have a fraction 2 fourths, I can compare it to 1 fourth, I can add it or subtract it with 1 fourth. Okay? But not until you have common denominators can you do that. Um, again, to add and subtract or compare fractions with unlike denominators, you find the least common multiple of the denominators, and then you get them to have the common denominators, and then you can work with them. Example number one, it says, in one of Katie's cookbooks, a recipe for salsa calls for three-fourths cup of chopped fresh cilantro. Okay, the chopped fresh cilantro, probably not too important right now. Three-fourths cup of that. A salsa recipe given to Katie by a friend calls for seven-eighths cup of fresh cilantro. Which recipe calls for more cilantro? So now we're basically comparing is three-fourths more or is seven-eighths more? And we do that by, I guess, converting these fractions to have like denominators. Okay, let's start with uh, least common multiple of four and eight. Okay, the next multiple of four is eight. So I know that the least common multiple of these two numbers is eight. So let's take the number three-fourths and get it to have a denominator of eight. We multiply by fractions equal to 1. 4 times 2 is 8. 3 times 2 is 6. We can now compare 6 eighths with 7 eighths. And 6 is clearly lower than 7, so we know that 3 fourths is less than 7 eighths. We do that again by finding least common multiples and then creating fractions with common denominators before you compare the two. Okay, um, I guess the story problem that they gave us, this is example one. The story problem they gave us had a lot of extra Im information. It was three-fourths cups of chopped cilantro, and in the second salsa recipe they needed seven-eighths cups of chopped cilantro. So which one needed more? That's just a, a fancy way of asking you to compare three-fourths and seven-eighths. You do have to read those story problems, you do have to comprehend them and un understand what you're reading, but really look for that important information when you are comparing fractions. Okay, um, the second one it says add. This is example two. It says add one half plus one fourth. Okay, when we add fractions, we always say the denominator doesn't change. But when fractions are unlike, when they're not the same, you have to make that fraction equal or make that fraction, make the fractions have common denominators. 
Okay. Now, we can we can write them down the denominators two and four, and we can list the factors, and find the least common multiple is four, and then ask ourselves, okay, what is one half equal to, equal if it has a denominator of four? Okay, we know that two times two is four. This needs to be a fraction equal to one. One times two is two. So we're adding two fourths plus one fourth. Um, if you know this, uh, one half is equal to two fourths right away, you don't have to go through all these extra steps to find your answer. Two fourths plus one fourth is equal to three fourths. That is your answer for example two in YouTube video lesson 116. I'm flipping the page to page 762. Okay, we are subtracting 3 and 1 half minus 1 and 1 sixth. Okay, we first need to break this problem down and deal with the fraction portion of it. Okay, 1 half minus 1 sixth, we need to take those two denominators and figure out what the least common multiple is. Two, four, six, our least common multiple is six. So we need to ask ourselves, what is one half equal to if the denominator is six? We can multiply um, by three thirds. One times three is three, two times three is six. Um, we can also say that we know that one half, if its denominator is six, what is half of six? Three. So now we have three and three sixths. We're subtracting one and one sixth. Three minus one is two. Six doesn't change. Three minus one is two. Our answer is two and two sixths. Two and two sixths, but we need to reduce this fraction. I notice that they're both even. So I'm going to divide both terms by two. Uh, two divided by two is one. 6 divided by 2 is 3. My whole number of 2 does not change. Your answer, for example, 3. Example 3 is 2 and 1 third. Next, example 4. We are adding 1 third plus 1 half. We need to write down our two denominators, 2 and 3. And we need to figure out what the least common multiple is. Well, 2 times 4, or 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 5 is 10, 3 times, two, three times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6. I notice that I've found a number that both, that both 2 and 3, uh, a multiple that both 2 and 3 have in common. So I know that my denominator needs to be 6. Now I need to convert the fractions 1 third and 1 half. 1 third and one half so that they have denominators of six. Okay, we multiply by fractions equal to one. Three times what is six? Three times two is six. One times two, because this fraction needs to be equal to one, is two. Um, two times what is six? Three, three goes on top. One times three is three sixths. Now we're adding those two numbers. 2 plus 3 is 5. The 6 doesn't change. My answer, for example, number 4 is 5 6. Okay, we will go over a few of these tomorrow. If you have any questions, make sure you write them down on your sheet and let me know then. I hope you have a great night. I will see you tomorrow.